Hey everybody, my name is Jonathan Slinsky with Team POI and Distinguished Tactical. Today we're going to be going over the trigger cam camera. The first thing you'll notice about trigger cam is it's a very minimalist design. It's essentially just this one piece. Everything's built into the, the housing. If you're using a scope with a smaller ocular body than my scope has, it comes with a whole set of inserts. They're just plastic and they fit right over your scope and they'll allow it to fit snug no matter what size ocular body you have. To mount your trigger cam, all you're going to do is slide it over the ocular lens housing. Make sure it's pushed all the way forward. Then you're just going to level it by comparing it to your top turret. Once you've got it level, you're just going to snug down the screw and the bar. It doesn't have to be crazy tight, just tight enough that you know the recoil is not going to shift the camera and it's not going to fall off in the middle of whatever you're doing. Next, you're going to turn it on by pressing and holding the power button. You should hear a beep. Then go over to your device, turn on your Wi-Fi, and then the other button on your trigger cam is your Wi-Fi button, so you're going to press and hold that. It should also beep at you after about a second. Then it'll pop up on your device under a Wi-Fi network. Okay, popped up on my device, password is one two three four five six seven eight it connects then you're going to open the trigger cam app so once you've got the app open uh, depending on your advice so mine or your device mine just popped up and said there's no wi-fi uh, or no internet access on your wi-fi so i have to tell my phone to keep connected even though there's no internet access then it's going to come up with this screen. That just means it's connected to your trigger cam and you're ready to go. So if you hit the play button, it's going to pop up with the image that you're actively looking through your trigger cam. At this point, you can set it to record, take a picture, or do whatever you need it to do. So we're just going to go ahead and focus the trigger cam at our zero distance since I've got my target set up at 50 yards. So I'm going to sight in on my target. Set my parallax to 50 yards. And then I'm going to remove a cap, uh, the cap up here, and then I'm going to adjust the focus until it's in focus. So I'm just going to pull off the smaller cap. And underneath that cap, you should see the focus ring. down in there. And then all you're going to do is look at the screen on your device and then you're going to twist the focus knob until it's in focus. Now that we've got our trigger cam set up and focused, we can go ahead and record our first video. So at the base of the screen, I'm just going to hit the record button. It starts the recording. And then when you're done, all you do is hit the record button again, and it stops. That's all there is to it. Some of the pros. It's super easy to set up. Essentially, once it's been mounted onto the scope, the camera looks straight down the center of the tube. You don't have to make multiple adjustments just to get it so that there's no scope shadow or to align the camera 
so that it's looking straight at the reticle. Uh, my favorite feature is that it has the ability to store the footage locally on the trigger cam itself. It's got a micro SD slot built in, so you can put a card in there and then you don't have to worry about bogging down your film while you're at the range or in the middle of a hunt. And the video quality. The video quality is a lot better than most of the systems you see, mainly because it's built straight into the trigger cam. You're not worried about how good the camera on your phone is compared to the phone for the review you saw. Everything's built in here. I had no issues being able to see what, I, what was happening downrange on the footage I took. The only con I found so far is the microphone. So the microphone is placed right here on the front of the tube, so it can pick up gunshots and impacts on steel really well, uh, but it's a little bit muffled if you're trying to speak in the footage as the shooter because you're speaking from back here and it's on the other side of the housing as the microphone. Overall, I think it's a great product that has a lot of benefits to offer, no matter if you're a competition shooter, a hunter, or a long-range instructor. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead, give us a like, follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and let us know if there's more products you guys want to see. If you want more information on the trigger cam, go ahead and reference my written article that will be posted on the Team POI website. Have a nice day.